this is for Senator Vick. Title 67, Chapter 52, grants authority for administrative rulemaking exercised recently by Idaho with a requirement, a vaccine requirement, with, uh, I guess that's without public input on rules year round. This seems more like a direct democracy. Is there interest in pulling back some rulemaking authority in favor of more involvement in lawmaking by legislators? It seems that this would be more like representative government with more accountability to voters, even if we have to pay legislators more and have them in session longer. And we covered a pretty good amount on the rulemaking, but um, you. <clears throat> because it was specific as to vaccines. Good morning. I'm not Steve Vick. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Senator Mary Souza from District 4, which is Coeur d'Alene. But I am the vice chair of the Health and Welfare Committee in the Senate, and vaccines are a constant and controversial topic in our, in our area of concern. For the last three years, we have been working with the Department of Health and Welfare to clarify and improve the forms that they use or that should be used at the school level and at the department level for parents to exercise their uh, lawful right to exempt their children out of the requirement for vaccinations if they so choose. The form that the department was using was ominous. It was guilt producing. And while it had some information that was decent on it, it was scary. It was presented in a scary way. So what we did was we, we sat down literally at a desk with the department people and said, let's craft this new form together. And we did. And then we said, take all that information. If you feel more comfortable, put it on an information sheet and offer it as an option to anyone who wants to have it. But the form is simple. And it just says, these are the vaccines avail that are required. Check which ones your child has or has not had and sign the bottom if you want to exempt them out. And it's very simple because legally in our state, the statute says so. But the problem was that the department kept coming back to this IDAPA rule, this rule, administrative rule from a number of years ago that was not written in order to match the law. And whoever at the time <coughs> in the legislature didn't catch the fact that that rule didn't match the law that said that parents can exempt their children out. So that was a whole nother level of discussion and we literally had to get the rules administrator in and sit down with us and he said, yes, these two don't match. So we rewrote the rule with the department right there and that rule is now in operation uh, and that's the rule for the, uh, the exemption form for the, the uh, vaccines. So it, it applies to the new vaccine that they just tried to get through as a requirement. Just please know and spread the word that parents have the legal right in Idaho to exempt their child out of any vaccine if they wish to. Uh, one of the many frustrations that I realized uh, working on the Health and Welfare Committee is in sp specifically about this vaccine issue. It is very controversial. Um, in several hearings that we've had uh, in our uh, Health and Welfare Committee in the House, and also I've been down to watch uh, the hearing on that in the Senate Health and Welfare Committee, um, it's become abundantly clear that parents were at least confused about the exemption requirements, but in many cases, they were actually denied the ability to bring their children to school uh, because the school districts refused to take the child without the uh, vaccinations, even when the parents would bring up the exemption issue. So we have now um, legislation we're gonna hear next week. Uh, uh, Representative Giddings from District 7 has introduced a bill uh, that would mandate that when a school gives vaccine requirement information at the same time and in the same manner, they have to give the exemption uh, information as well. Now, the thing that was most surprising to me, and kind of infuriating actually, 
the uh, lobby for the school district association lobbyists came and while acknowledging that the, the exemption exists, they're fighting the, uh, Representative Giddings' bill because I'm, gonna, I'm not going to quote her, but I'm going to paraphrase what I read into her testimony. You can listen to the testimony yourself. They disagree that people should be able to have exemptions from vaccinations because it makes other children unsafe. So therefore, they don't want this bill to pass because they don't want the parents to know there is an exemption because they think too many parents will take advantage of it and then they're gonna lose the edge on pushing this issue with regard to vaccination. So this is a critical issue and to tie this back to the, the democracy versus rulemaking issue, there are bureaucrats in the state that don't care what the legislature says, don't care what the rule says, they're gonna find a way around it to impose their will and enforce the law as they think it should be enforced without regard to parental rights or the health and safety <coughs> of our children. And just to finish this, let me clarify, I am not what people should refer to as an anti-vaxxer. I have no competence to be able to tell you whether you should or should not vaccinate your children or yourselves. Um, so I'm not going to pretend that. But it should be your choice. Right.